sometimes trying to get a barb fitting into polyflex or polypipe is ridiculously hard and you can't do it. So I got a tip for you today. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And we're going to be talking about polyflex pipe today. Okay. This stuff comes with barb fittings. This was actually a bad piece that I cut out yesterday morning in a job. They're just honestly not enough time sometimes to shoot a video whenever you got other things going on. So I just wanted to show you a little quick thing about this today that really will help you out, save you some time. So come along, let's get to fix it. Okay, so this right here is the three quarter inch polyflex that I cut out yesterday. You can see that instead of using hose clamps, they just use some wire. My father-in-law is awesome this way, man. He could hook up a lot of stuff and this totally worked. This actually was not even a fail point. This still worked, but we get to right here. There actually was a crack in the pipe and that eventually split and broke out. And that's where the issue was. So time constraint, no video on this chop, chop and we put a new piece in okay and so this right here is a newer piece of polyflex right this stuff is rated 160 psi um you know see it's thin walled it is a little bit flexible and this is really easy to run irrigation i think a lot of irrigation is ran in this stuff these days and so the fittings to hook this stuff up are actually barbed fittings you can see that's a barb fitting and it's just supposed to slide in here, not with these, with some pressure, but I've got a quick tip for you today that I think you're really gonna like. It's gonna save you some time, it's gonna save you a little heartache and maybe even a little muscle strain. So now we're gonna take our heat gun, we're gonna heat this polyflex up, okay? You do not wanna melt this, but you wanna get it warm enough to make it a little pliable, that way we can get our fitting in here. Okay, and this is going to be our example fitting and just show you that once it's warm, it's really easy. Okay, now just take this and it's one of those things, pretty easy, right? Just slides in. Now you're able to get that up on there. It's much easier now to just slide that up. And then all you have to do, take your hose clamp. I like to go on the barb. Okay, so I know it might look a little funky that you're a little down past it, but to me, like that's where you want to put your hose clamp is on the barbs. And so I just kind of space the middle. You can actually see where the hump rise is right and just give that a turn on there. And this right here, while it's still warm, you're getting that down on there and then just let that cool in place. Well, that's going to give you a nice good seal all right so using one of these to put this together is going to ensure that things work out a lot smoother for you trust me this is a lot easier all right i really hope this video helped if you guys could please subscribe to the channel click the like button we greatly appreciate it we're just trying to help hope we're doing that thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon